What yeah, is your favorite sports movie, Noah? Oh my if you had to choose, Noah Wiley. There's here on the so Red many, Jackson and I'm show. such a sucker for them. But if I had to pick one, which you usually have to do in this situation, yes. I go with The Natural. The Natural to me is an absolutely perfect movie. Now you were reading a Philip Roth book in the back, so you would definitely know that that's a book, a Bernard Malibu, Malibu book. book. Yeah. I have it. But I actually think it's one of those w strange cases where the book's good and the movie's great. Uh, I, I just think that movie is f flawless. It is great. Yeah. You know, it captures everything that you love about baseball as a kid. All that wish fulfillment, all that dr the dream of a, uh, of a of promise unrealized and getting a second crack at it. Had it everything. Yeah, I know. And Wilford Brimley is the manager. Fantastic. Richard Farnsworth, Farnsworth is the coach, yeah. and then Robert Duvall is the the awful as the sports writer. Yeah, who tries the awful to bring media him down. man. Why do yeah. they always put the media like that? I don't oh. understand. Kim but, Basinger. Oh yes. Beautiful. And Glenn Close standing and Glenn up. Glenn Close. Yeah. Hell of a cast. Yeah. I believe that was maybe her second film after Garp. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then and then my and then I'm just these glad are my stats. I, Owen. I know. These are you, my look stats. Look at you. So, yeah. but uh, Noah Wiley here on the Rich Eisen show. If if you had a, like an old baseball card collection, which one? I still have it. I okay. still have my cards. So yeah. then, so what's your what cards? My you have? Dodgers were Steve Garvey, Davy Lopes, of course, Bill Russell, Ron Say, Dusty Baker, Kenny Lando, Rick Monday, Steve Yeager. Behind the plate. Behind the plate. And then uh, on the mound. And Sosha came in soon thereafter on the mound. Jerry Royce, Bert Hooten, Bob Welch, Fernando's. Don Sutton. Don Sutton, absolutely, before he went to the Astros. So now, how old are you? If you I'm 46. Me. Okay, I'm 48. So I'm a, a kid sitting in New York City, fired up that Reggie Jackson's hitting three home oh runs in the God. 1977 World that Series. That catch that Craig Nettles made going horizontal to rob Steve Garvey of what would have absolutely been an extra base hit mm -hmm. was one of the daggers to my heart, to my youth. <laughs> And the fact that they put that photograph on the cover of Sports <laughs> Illustrated that week, yeah. which I had a young subscription to, right. killed me even further. No kidding. Yeah. So the 81 World Series where Fernando and the Dodgers took care of Rigetti and the Yankees, yep. and that ended Reggie Jackson's Yankee career. That's that right. was that was great that for was you. pretty sweet. Although I'm one of the few people that in California actually bought and ate Reggie bars. Do you remember when they came out with the Reggie oh, candy bars? Oh, it was great. It was, it was like uh, chocolate and caramel those Rice Krispies and, and caramel. Peanuts. It was a bunch of stuff all like right. underneath a melted and pile. Yeah, they threw Reggie bars at him one day. Yeah. What happened to this sports fan, Noah? I don't know. Acting? Is that what happened? Me, Parent the sports fan in yes, me? Yes, yes. You're, oh, saying, God, you're, saying, no. you're saying you're 14-year-old saying, you know, maybe... No, I was an daddy. avid sports fan until... Uh, Around March 17th, 1993, when I walked into a soundstage on the Warner Brothers lot and started making ER and turning out 80-hour weeks for the next 15 years. And that was the end of that. And then somewhere in that period of time, I became a father, and that took over. And then I managed to sort of winnow all my sports interests down to just Laker basketball, which I managed to hang on through all through the Kobe Shaq years. Even all, now? Yeah, even now. Although this is a really kind of... Uh, this is a very interesting transitional time for, for the Laker club. Well, I mean, you got Lonzo Ball coming in, and that's yeah. the the... I mean, this town feels like he is the second coming. I don't know if they're buying what Lavar's picking up or putting down. I have been wrong before, uh, but I tend to think of the Lakers as always being a center-dominated team, and when the Lakers are always at, at their best, yes, it's either Ch Chamberlain or Jabbar or O'Neal, and we we wanted Dwight Howard to work, we wanted Andrew Bynum to work, but I feel like we've been in a sort of holding pattern, waiting for that big center spot to get filled. Even though the game is changing, totally and the style has. of the game is changing. I mean, the Warriors don't need a, a center in that traditional sense that you're talking about right now. No, but I don't know. Maybe it's just part of the culture I grew up with. I feel like that anchors us in a way. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is.